people said, wow, what are you doing? Uh, amen, 17-year-old pastor. Amen, you probably have 12 people come to your church. In fact, when I first started, amen, pastoring, there was about 20 people. We went up to about 80, amen, of a Sunday. Uh, we went back down to 12, uh, amen, and then we went back up to 30, amen. Let me say this, uh, amen, it ain't about the number. Uh, it ain't about the people, amen, that's coming in the door. Uh, it's about the souls that's wanting fire from God. It's about the people who want to come in and, and say, God, I don't want nothing of the world. Lord, I don't want to be conformed to the world, but I want to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. Woo, aren't you glad? Hey, man, you can be renewed. Hey, man, by your mind. Hey, man, when you come and give your heart to God, there should be a renewing in your mind. There should be a renewing, amen, in your soul. There should be a renewing in your heart. I'm telling you what, amen, glory to God. Hey, man, when you're blind, hey, man, you got to get down to where you can see again. Woo, hey, man. Amen. Hallelujah. This all right, church. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what? I've witnessed a lot of people. Amen. I witnessed a man. Amen. Who was blind, be able to see again. I witnessed a man. Amen. Who was dead. Amen. Come back to life. I witnessed a man, amen, who was bound in chains. Amen, I witnessed a man who was bound, amen, in the enemy's chains get broke free. I, I, amen, I've watched a man, amen, that was deaf, amen, here again. Let me tell you something. I was the man that was blind, but now I see. I was the man that was deaf, but now I hear. I was the man that was dead, but now alive. I was the man that was in bondage I was the man that was in chains by the, the, by the bondage of the world but Jesus came into my life and broke every chain aren't you glad amen that when he comes in he breaks the yoke and he breaks the chains Woo, hallelujah hallelujah aren't you glad amen glory to God Hallelujah, I feel, amen, I feel the Holy Ghost in this house tonight. Amen, I feel the power, amen, of God. Woo. Amen. Where was I? Amen. Uh, Bon Bermeus, he said he was blind with his physical eyes. That was the first type of, amen, blindness. But what blind Bartimaeus had, he could see. Hey man, come on. He could see that if he got to Jesus, his sight would be restored. Mm, 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 mm. You're saying, well, well, pastor or evangelist, whatever you want to call me. Hey man, he, what do you mean he was blind, but how could he see? Whew. Hey man, this is where people mess up. He could see. Hey man, with his ears. He could hear. Hey man, what God had done. He could hear what Jesus had done. Oh, amen. You know what I like about this story? Hey, man, blind Bartimaeus didn't say, well, thank you, Jesus, for him receiving my sight and go on. Hey, man, but the Bible says that he followed him. Hey, man, in his way. You know what? I come to a conclusion that too many people followed Jesus for a miracle, for an answered prayer. When it never comes, they just go away. There's a song, Mercy Me says, sings, and it says, even if, you don't. Right. Hallelujah. Is this good tonight? Yeah. I mean, even if you don't come, amen, and give me my, my prayer that I've been praying for for 20 years, Lord, I'm still going to serve you with the whole heart and a clear mind. <laughs> Woo. Uh, amen. Maybe you've had cancer. Amen, stage four. Amen, cancer. And they give you so many months or maybe years to live. And you say, Lord, I know it's in your will. Lord, I know that if I'm out of your way, Lord, you'll have your way. Amen, you can get down and pray. But if that answer never comes, amen, are you gonna step out and say, well, you didn't do it. I don't trust in you anymore. Or are you gonna say, Lord, even if you don't, even if you don't, I'm gonna serve you till I die. Even if you don't, I'm going to let you be number one in my life. Even if you don't, I'm still going to serve you. You know what? 
You know, as too many times as a, amen, as a Christian. When I was a young Christian, I was, amen, about two weeks into this thing. The Lord, amen, amen, the enemy put depression on my life. I began to get depressed. Amen, I was, I was in such a mess. I didn't know, I was like, Lord, Lord, what is this? Lord, I don't know what to do. Oh, let me tell you something. He told me to press on. He told me to keep going. And I tell you what, amen, I never stopped since. Amen, and those bondage, amen, and those chains of depression, those chains of oppression, those chains, amen, that the enemy tried to put on me, amen, they're gone. And I never had to see them again. I left them at the cross. I left them at the foot of the cross. And guess what? The blood of Jesus covered my sins. Woo, ain't you glad? Amen. Ain't you glad? Woo. How many knows about Helen Keller tonight? Amen. You might have read about her in school. Amen. She was a deaf and blind girl. Amen. But you know what? Amen. There was a quote that she wrote when she wrote a lot of magazines. Amen. It says, amen. It says it's good. Amen. It's better to have, amen, a heart. Amen. Come on now. It's better to have a heart, amen, that can see, amen. Listen, I'm telling you what. She said it's better to be blind and to see with your heart than to have two good eyes and see nothing. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aren't you? Is this good tonight? Amen. Blind Bartimaeus. Amen, didn't have two good eyes. Oh, but he had a good heart. Amen, I'm telling you what. Amen, we take, amen, we take things too serious anymore. We come, amen, and if a preacher gets up and I dare him to preach over me, I'm gonna walk out the door. Let me tell you something, I'm not here to put you out the door. I'm not here, amen, to preach you to get saved. Amen, I'm not here to make you, amen, dress appropriately and do all this stuff. Amen, I'm here to see souls say, I'm here to let you know, listen, before, before all that comes on you, you gotta get down and get busy with God. You gotta get down and get that salvation in your life. You gotta get down and get covered by the blood. You gotta get renewed by the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Is this okay tonight? Now I wanna talk about the second blindness. Amen. I wanna talk about the blindness of the disciples. Amen. You can see where I'm going with this tonight. They could physically see, but they couldn't see the word of God. Come on. Come on now. Amen. Are you with me tonight, church? You see the, the, the blindness of the disciples is what we have in the church right now. What are you saying, Pastor? In the book of Revelations, the Bible talks about the churches, the seven churches. And as John was writing, John the Revelator, as he was writing, the Bible says in the very last church, the seventh church,